Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and you're excited to learn how to paint this big wave curl. This was requested by one of my patrons, uh, Julie Drop. So thanks Julie. And I'm gonna go over the colors right away and we'll get started. So I'll list them all below in the description as well. We've got titanium white, magenta, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, turquoise, neon red, neon magenta, yellow ochre, lemon yellow, and neon yellow. So we've got lots of fun colors to work with today and you can use any other variations of these colors that you want. You can add a few or you can use fewer than what we've got here. Okay, you guys, so think outside of the box. You can definitely paint this if you're a beginner. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna begin by using my number 11 flat brush. You can use any uh, large brush that you want. A filbert would work well too. We just need something uh, large enough to get this area in here that we're gonna start with. We'll have a little opening here of the background. It's gonna be a soft pastel sky with yellow, working our way up to a little bit of blue-violet mixed with some neon red. And then, of course, we'll have our little tropical island in the distance with a few silhouettes in, uh, or of palm trees in silhouette. And I'm working on a 16 by 20 black primed canvas. I used a regular black paint, covered up an old canvas. You can purchase canvases that are black already. Um, and you can also use black gesso if you like. So I'm gonna get my brush a little bit wet. Then I'm gonna take some white and some neon yellow. And I'm going to start right in here. I'm going to do a little lumpy sort of an long oval like this. This is the part of the wave coming down here. And then this, of course, is the background. And then we've got our little island. I'm going to take more yellow and white, scoop up both colors. I'm going to be generous with the white because working on a black canvas, it's going to dry darker. some more of my yellow. Yellow and a little bit of neon red and a little bit of the neon magenta now. And I'm gonna come right in here. Oh, there's a little, little hair there from before I dried it. I'm not gonna be able to get that off now, I don't think. Oh, actually I did. There you go, just gently scrape it off. Okay, let's take some more of the neon red and white. A little bit of pink, white. So you can make any kind of pastel sunset color you want here. I suppose this could be a sunrise too. You could decide what time of the day it is. Now what I'm going to do is make a light violet purpley color here by just pulling in a little bit of that ultramarine blue with my pink and my white. So a little bit like that. And we've got a nice lilac -y color. Oh, that's really pretty. Really like that. I'm so excited about this painting today. I haven't painted a wave curl in quite a while and I love painting them. I love playing up on all the beautiful sunset colors and adding extra colors in the wave itself and all the patterns of the, the water. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to take a little bit more of my blue now, the white. And I'm going to add it right in here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, 
And then right away, I'm going to take some of my neon red and pull in, kind of just cut into that neon yellow. And I'm going to go right down in here. A little bit more than the on red. Right there. And I just pull and flick softly. I'm going to add some more. I'm going to use the corner of my brush here and just do some little, little half circles. Just little half circles and squiggly loops and lines like this. Just to play up on the sunset and the clouds back there. And then this of course in here is going to be the um, palm trees and the island. And I can actually do that right now. I'm going to be using two brushes to create the palm trees and the little island. I've got a liner brush and this one is a plaid and it's a number one. And I've also got a filbert brush and this is a really small one. It's a number four. And I'm not going to use any black. I don't need to because I've got all of these colors here. So I'm going to take a little bit of my neon red, my phthalo blue. And right down here I can make a very dark color just by taking those two. See that? A little bit more than neon red. And we'll warm it up just a little bit. Okay, so right in here, I'm going to go right along the bottom. Start right in here. Make it kind of bumpy. I think it looks prettier to uh, use a darker color than just black because this is turning into like a really deep purplish color that I like. So it's pretty simple. Just a little line there across the bottom with some bumpy little bumps like up here. There's a little bit more of the neon red. And then I'm going to come in with my palm trees. And I'm going to get my liner brush wet. I'm going to pull in more of that neon red. I'm going to do an angle like this, pull, have a few that come up, straight, and then another little one like this. So I'm going to use one of my new brushes. That I promised it's an even tail fan and I promised you guys I was going to paint a palm tree with it and show you how amazing it is now the only thing is I'm not sure about the size of it in comparison to the size of the palm trees I'm painting but I do really want to try it so it's right here and yeah I might uh, just have to use part of it and not the whole thing because that would be way too big. So I'm not even going to get it wet. I'm just going to pull in to the colors, the blue and, and just pick up a little bit like this. So it would, yeah, for the size of these, that's not going to work very well. Like I could do it, but it's difficult. So if I had a mini one like this that would be excellent what I'm gonna have to do is just use a little my little liner brush here I'm just gonna stick with this so load my brush up again and they're just in silhouette so it doesn't really matter Get some more paint on there mix that up
and the paint underneath is still wet so I'm picking up all these kind of pastel colors I will go over it later on when it's dry one more time but I kind of like to have the soft outline of these pastel tones in between and behind it I think it looks pretty I just have a little bit of something down here. That kind of gives you an idea. You could leave them kind of just soft looking like this. And of course you could come in with if you want black. Okay. And while I've got my liner brush with this color on it, this is kind of a nice dark color that I want to use, and I'm just going to kind of outline this. Make it a little bit bumpy here. We did before, but I want to make it a little bit more bumpy. Okay, something like that. And we're going to start coming in with the water now. So we're going to, I'm going to be using this uh, filbert brush again. Whoops, it's a bit too wet there. Smooth that off. And let's begin with our darks. So I'm gonna take my neon red that's got a bit of that blue in it. There's even a little bit of white in there. I'm gonna take that and come right down here. And do a few lines on an angle like this. And then we're gonna go bring it across. So you want this one that comes down here. And then we're gonna do some that go across like that. And I'm gonna take more of my red now, quite a bit. And I'm gonna go right under here. A little bit thicker like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of my yellow ochre with my neon red. I'm going to pull that in there. That's going to lighten it up and really bring some warmth, warmth in. So again, that's yellow ochre and neon red. We're going to do short ripples like this. Line my brush up again, or load it up again. Line it up right here. I'm going to leave a space in here that's going to be just black. Kind of zigzag in here, but tightly together. Grab my neon red. And just add a few right in there. Neon red and the yellow ochre again. Take more of my neon red.
It's going to be darker down here, so I'm going to take my ultramarine blue and I'm going to start pulling it in to the neon red. Now I could just leave it black, but that's not fun. I like to have some beautiful colors, make it a little bit moodier. I'm just going to tone it with or add a little bit of white to it. Just a little bit of white to make it show up a little bit better. And I'm just going to sneak it in here in between some of the red and the yellow ochre. Now in here we're going to have, see how I'm doing that with my brush? I'm kind of shaking and making Lots of little scumbly, messy lines like that. That's going to be um, kind of like the splash or just design that's going on in the water. Okay, I'm going to take some of my red again and some phthalo blue. Add that down here. I'm going to take more of my neon red and I really want to lightly pull that over so that it stays nice and bright. I'm going to come right in here inside the wave and add a little bit of red. Pick up more of my neon yellow. Very lightly go over that. I just want to bring some intensity up right down there. I'm going to take a bit of my neon magenta with my white. Make it really, really light. I don't know if you guys could, yeah, you can see it like that. So light, but it makes such a nice tone right in here against that yellow. And then you can just pull it right into that yellow a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go back to my yellow ochre. I'm going to take some, both of the yellows, a little bit of white. So that's all three of the yellows, all three of these here with a little bit of white. And I'm just going to start adding some little lines. Now you can change your brush up to a liner if you want. Start to come down here. These lines are going to be really close together. And then you're going to curl around, again, curl around right there. Take some more white, the yellows. White and yellows again. I'm going to make it a little bit wider right in here. It's going to be the brightest right in here. So let's take our, more of our neon yellow and white for this area. I'm 
And I'm going to add little splotches down here. And just tapping and doing this. The shakier you are, the better and more natural it's going to look. You hear that? That's a dry brush. That's what a dry brush sounds like. So there's a little bit of paint in there. But, and it sounds like I'm pushing hard, but I'm really not. And this is just a light layer of paint, a very thin layer of paint before I go over with turquoise and phthalo blue. So I'm going to add a little bit of neon red with my yellow ochre. And I'm going to come in and just start adding little bits of this all around those little yellow spot splotches that I added. And then I'm going to scumble softly. Take those colors again. Here, just little bits like this. Now back to our yellows with the white. Pearl and flick, flick. Do another layer here, neon white or neon yellow and white. And again, where it's going to be really bright, right in here. You might have to do this a few times because we're working on a black canvas, but it's important to work on a dark canvas to achieve this instant shadow and contrast that we have that's really nice. Not to say you can't paint this on a white canvas, you can, it's just going to take um, more time and more paint. We'll need the, lots of black to come in and for the shadows. I'm going to pick up some yellow with a little bit of turquoise down in here. And I'm going to start easing in some turquoise down in this corner. A little bit of white, turquoise, and yellow. You want to leave some of that black canvas showing. It's nice for our shadows. Let's see where we're at here. Take some more of the white, the yellow. Dab, pull, dab, pull.
let's take some of our green and our yellow, white. Start pulling this in here. More turquoise this time. A little bit of white and turquoise to get right in here. We want to leave the dark shadow color that we used. We're going to have little bits of turquoise up in here. Starting to run out of paint on my brush, so I'm going to go back to my turquoise load it up and then we're going to have so right here we're going to bring it up back and forth in an arch I'm going to pick up phthalo blue with my turquoise this time I've got both and I'm going to let them blend together right in here We take a little bit of neon yellow, white, turquoise, touch of that phthalo. All the yellows, phthalo blue, white, and turquoise. I'm going to leave an area right here that's going to be white. And then I'm going to come up, up, up. Take some white, phthalo. More turquoise. We're using a lot of paint today. So fun. Now these are heavy body paints that I'm using, but you can use um, any kind of paint that you have. It doesn't have to be thick, heavy bodied. I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush, very lightly and quickly. Thin this layer, that's what you do with water, it's going to thin your paint and help spread it. Take some more of my yellow that's got a bit of that turquoise in it. I'm going to bring it down here. I want it to make this sort of like a lime green color. So by mixing those, that's what you'll get. Look at all these, all this color, it's so much fun. Trust me, you guys are going to have a blast painting this. Don't hold back on your colors, just have fun. Add some more down here. Take a bit of my white with my lemon yellow. A little bit more white. And put a little bit more light in there. <clears throat> it's 
So this area in here is going to be white with a little bit of pink and yellow. Let's make like a soft peachy color. A little bit more pink in there. Okay, so kind of just like a skin color. Or you can just do it straight white if you want. I'm just going to push and kind of smush I'll bring that area up higher. I'm going to add my neon pink or neon magenta. <clears throat> A little bit right in here. I'm gonna have some neon pink accents like this. You can add a little bit to the side there, that's pretty. A little bit so you get all these pretty pastel colors. And then I'm gonna start to push my brush flat. Take more of the neon pink and white. And I'm slightly going over that turquoise, so I'm picking some of that up. So messy splotches of neon pink and white, or neon magenta. I think this one's actually called neon magenta, but it's pretty much the same as neon pink. I'm going to use more of the neon magenta now. Add a little bit more to these areas, leaving some of them still the mixture of white. I'm take a bit of it, or a little bit of my yellow and the neon pink and white, and I'm going to add a little bit right down in here. Yellow ochre. Okay, I'm going to take some magenta now and a little bit of that neon red that's left. I'm going to start bringing in some more warmth down here. We'll get a beautiful purple down here when we 
start to add this magenta, layer it up over top of that blue that we used earlier, which was this one, ultramarine blue. And then when we add magenta over the um, neon red and the yellow, we get a beautiful, almost like burnt sienna color. We'll also be adding it, little bits of it up in here as well. Then we will be coming over with our phthalos and ultramarines. bit of the neon magenta and regular magenta and just pull some right in there now we're gonna have I'm just gonna get the brush a little bit wet we're gonna have uh, phthalo blue with our magenta right here, a little bit of water on my brush. Then we're gonna have a few little skinny lines here for where the wave is sort of curving over. watering my brush down a little bit so that I can do this easily because you want it to be nice and thin and then I'm going to take a little bit of white just a little bit like that and I'm going to add some highlights here Okay, I'm going to go right into my ultramarine blue and I'm going to start coming in here pulling in this color. You can blend it with your um, cobalt blue too if you want or your phthalo blue I mean. Take a bit of my turquoise here and add some of that. Kind of just holding my brush on an angle, scooping up a lot of paint. Going to add some dabs down in here. and fill in these black 
gaps here with turquoise and blues. So I'm just going to take all three, see what nice colors I can make here. a little bit darker. Okay, now I'm going to take more of my neon pink or magenta here. I actually have to squeeze out some more. Slightly pull in just over that blue. I'm going to wipe the excess off because each time I do this I'm picking up a little bit of that blue paint. And I'm going to take some neon yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of it up here and in here. Slightly pull. Take both neon yellow and pink on the bottom of my brush, so I'll show you that again. Pushing and tapping. So it's kind of like the color, it's like fire. Push, tap. This is going to help to make it look like sparkles. Take more of my yellow ochre. Bring some of that around there. I'm going to need some more white. My lemon yellow with my white. Very lightly apply it. Bring up the bottom of my brush again. I'll just dry brush the rest up there. Dab. Pick up turquoise with that yellow and white. Dab. I'm 
lightly tap, pull, tap, pull. Look at all those pretty colors. I'm going to switch over to a fan brush now. I've got this big one here, but you can use any size you want. This is a 14, and it's a Dugat brand. Get my brush a little bit wet. It's going to start to separate like this. And I'm going to pull. Which way should I go? You can either go this way or you can go up. You'll pull. So all I'm using is a little bit of water. And just sort of starting to smear that paint. And in my yellow, all these colors right here. I'm just going to pick all of these up. Got a little hint of neon red, pink, yellow, white, yellow ochre, and this is what the bottom of my brush looks like. I'm just going to pull that in there. Do that again. Just tap, 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 picking up little hints of all those colors. So I'm going to line it up like this. So I'm going to try my Thalo Blue by Arteza. That one looks pretty dark too. We'll see. And I also want to add some Scarlet Red by Arteza back here. So first I'm going to do the red and I'm going to take quite a bit like this, slide it on the tip of my brush, I'm going to lightly pull, pull up, and just slide my brush back and forth into these highlights and these ripples. Bring it right down in here so it carries through. Okay, I really like that. It's a little bit too bright right in here, though I need this to be a little bit darker, so I'm just taking some phthalo blue now. That will tone it. I'm going to just slightly go over it and then up, right up there, and that looks better. Now I'm going to go over my palm trees too while I've got this color I'm working with. So my phthalo blue. And the red with my liner brush. Just pull and flick. I've got tons of videos on how to paint seascapes and palm trees. So I'll add the link below for my playlist. So I'm just pulling and flicking out little arches from the center in all directions. Palm trees are messy, so if you're a little bit shaky, don't worry. Like I said earlier too, you can leave them. I'm going to add another one right in here. You can uh, leave them that 
lighter shade that we originally started with. That looked nice too. I'm just playing around here seeing if maybe I want to add some more. And I don't mind that one, but I think I'm going to take this one off. And by doing that, I'm going to need to go over my background again. I shouldn't have done that. But you guys are always asking, do you ever regret anything that you paint or make mistakes or do an extra? If somebody asked me the other day, do you ever paint too many trees and regret it? Right now. <laughs> I just did that. So I'm gonna, with a clean brush, yellow, pink, and white, more white. And I'll just act like it never happened. I'll just come in with more background color. No problem. May as well use this paint that I've got on my brush and add in some more lines here. It doesn't hurt to add a little bit of clouds like this in here. Let's just take some of our white with our neon pink. A little bit of that yellow. Very pretty color here. And let's go underneath that dark shadow. We're going to make this pop a little bit more. Just by doing that. Now I'm going to just go over this palm tree again here with my liner, phthalo and the red again. And there we go. Get some water on my brush and do this outline again here. some dark lines again. This is a really great dark color. You really don't need black. some in here. Very messy. Moving my brush all around, twisting it and dragging just to get some little shadows down in there. Wash my brush off and I'm going to go into my yellow 
pink and white. Grab a little bit more on there. A little bit more of the yellow and white. Get a really pretty pastel color. Scumble around a little bit in here. That looks really pretty with the turquoise. bit more. Just have all those pretty pastel colors. Now I'm going to go back into my yellow ochre. I've got a little bit of white in there. A little bit of water because it's getting starting to dry a little bit. Pull, pull, pull. So you can go in both directions, right? We're not covering up all the red. We're just going kind of inside of it. You can even take yellow ochre with neon magenta or pink and it makes a nice color. To my phthalo. I'm just going to go around this outline. Add a little bit more. This is a really, really pretty phthalo. Gorgeous. It's intense. I'm just pulling and loop, looping and dragging. I've got some more turquoise here. Go back to my filbert brush. I'm going to take a little bit of that turquoise with my phthalo just to lighten it up. And I'm going to add some in here. So you can just play around with your colors as much as you want. And if I water this down, really thin it out to make it more transparent, I can come over here. Say a little green would look really nice too if you wanted to use that. It would look great. Two different turquoises here. It depends on what brand you're using because they can vary in tone. And go up on an arch like this. To my phthalo. I'm going to take a bit of my red and phthalo mixture and add 
some little wiggly lines for some dark shadow. Okay, and I'm going to pick up more of my red. And that's just Tilly, my puppy, in here if you hear something. She loves to keep me company in my studio when I'm creating. You're a good girl, aren't you, Tilly? So I'm almost done this painting. Little splotches. Some more shadow in here. Where else? Just pick up a little bit of turquoise. Now I'm going to go over to my even tail fan and I'm going to pay, pick up my turquoise with a bit of white water. I just dunked it in the water and I'm going to go right down here. See that? Look at those perfect lines that you get. Do that again. Now I'm going to go into this dark mixture, water, and right in here, be a little bit shaky, pull, and wash my brush out, go back over to my white, the yellow, And pull, and then tap, pull, tap for that sparkle on the water. I'm going to take my turquoise with my white and yellow. Try that again. A bit more turquoise this time. And pull. And get some more. Let's do a combination of pink, white, turquoise. And let's just very lightly come down here. Leave a little something right in here. It's a bit too solid. And then I'm just going to tap. Tap a little bit right there. more of my neon pink and white. And I'm going to just come in here and make neat little loops with this cool brush. Wherever you want to have some pretty little accents of colors, you can just use this brush. It's so fun.
the red with the pink. take some more white with the turquoise. Still unsure about this. I think we need a little bit more of a another layer in here of some highlights. So it's a little bit of a splash up here. clean flat brush and it's just damp. I'm going to soften give it a blurry blurry look that makes it kind of look like glass. I just want to try making this sparkle a little bit, so I'm going to go back to my liner brush and I'm going to create a little, a few little stars here. A combination of our white that we have here. It's kind of mixed up. There's it's more of like a bunch of pastel colors. Any of those will work. Okay, so I'm gonna call this painting all done, I think. As soon as I say that, then I see something else I need to do. So, uh, a little bit more light behind the silhouette. Pick up some more yellow. I'm just using any yellow. Any yellow I've got left. I don't have enough of that yellow down here. I'm realizing I need some more. So 
So I've got lots of my lemon yellow left. So that's what I'm using. And you see how much I scoop up on my brush? And I'm just dab, dab, dab. I'm going to go into, this is going to be my very last thing I do, I promise, my neon yellow, and I want to accentuate this yellowy green we have here, so I'm going to just do a filter over, so you can see how you apply this over blue or green, and you get that nice intensity. So wherever I want to add a little bit more of that. And that looks pretty in there too. I want to keep this area really bright right in here. So just in and around it, I'm going to add bits of that neon yellow. Okay guys, so I'm going to call this one all done. I want to thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time very soon in another video. Hit that subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Take care guys. Happy painting.